Hey everyone, it's Valdine, and if you guys do not know who I am, I have a blog, a currently free beauty blog, slash home decor, and whatnot kind of blog, and I love Steven Universe. I have currently watching volume 4 on Amazon, which I know is actually season 4, like it says it is, it's volume 4, because apparently there's only 3 seasons, according to Wikipedia. I don't know what real seasons are or whatnot. So I'm on volume 4 on Amazon and I'm loving it so far. And yeah, today I'm going to be doing a hot or not on these Wet n Wild Color Icon 10 Shadow Palettes. I have the palette Rose in the Air and Not a Basic Peach. I have Not a Basic Peach currently on my eyes and the other day I was wearing... Oh no, don't tell me you broke. Oh no. Oh, I just broke a palette. <laughs> I was wearing this one, which is Rose in the Air, and I just broke it. Wonderful. That's going to be fun to open up for later. Okay, so let's start out with Not a Basic Peach. Hi, Bugger. I can't deny that. Tish. This palette has ten shades. Um, most of them are mattes. The mattes are kind of got tons of fallout. I would definitely kick off the palette off the shades when you are grabbing them. And then it's got a shimmer, four, three, with kind of three with glitter, and then two that's got like a metallic y finish to it. They're not my favorite. I'm gonna insert a saw tear so that way you guys can kind of see them. Um, these two in particular kind of just fall apart everywhere, and I'm not a huge fan of them. Too bad on my eyes today, as I mentioned, but I would kind of just skip this palette in all honesty. I don't think it's the greatest of qualities. The bubble palettes are five dollars, but again, I don't think this one kind of matches up to the quality of this one, even though I literally just broke it. So I'm gonna go clean that off real quick here. Or I have a tissue, which is opening it up. Let's see what the damage is. I don't really damage the corner. Not too bad. Alrighty. So this broken palette here is the Rose in the Air, which is basically a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palettes. I do not have that palette, but from what I can tell, looking at the shades and the swatches and everything, they are almost identical. I had to break a corner off this just a second ago, so ignore it, that little there. But here are some swatches of that palette, or this palette I should say. Um, all ten of these shades can be easily duped in the Modern Renaissance palette. So you do want the Modern Renaissance but can't afford that. So paying like 30 bucks, you can get one for five. And this one actually doesn't crumble apart like the Not Basic Peach palette. This one I actually do like the quality of... You and the Lights Brook Shop palette. Broke it because I dropped it on the floor. That was my fault, not the palette's fault. But yeah. This one I really like. And if you guys want to see a look of this palette, I'll put an insert right here for you. Yeah, so if I was going over these two palettes and the remotely options at the drugstore that were clearly free, I go with the Rose in the Air. Uh, if you guys like this video or want me to do more of these in the future, give this video a pause up, subscribe to the Howl Pack, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!